All right, this video is going to be about <clears throat> resurfacing your old Amo carburetor. If you're in the position where you don't want to have to buy a new one, you got a decent carburetor, and you buy a rebuild kit for it. I bought this rebuild kit <clears throat> um, from Classic British Spares. Uh, I'll link what it is in the description. Um, it's going to be put on this motor I just rebuilt. It's a TR6R. It's finally done. Um, and now I'm up to the carburetors. So I had an old bucket of all old carburetors and throttle cables and stuff. And uh, this was the best shape one. So before you go out and buy, you know, a $400, whatever they're going for, $300 carburetor, especially if you got a Bonneville, um, you know, you could, no matter what they say, you could resurface these carburetors to work just as good as the, the new ones, no matter what they tell you. Uh, the main thing, though, before you do that, the main three things that are the problems with these carburetors is um, the flanges. So when you, have, you grab your old um, carburetor you're going to use, and these flanges from idiots tighten them too much because it's leaking gas, and they think, oh, if I tighten it more, you know, it'll, uh, it won't leak. Anyways, so yeah, there, uh, this one's got straightened out. Uh, it was lifted up, and the method that you do to resurface these is go, um, you go get, you know, a picture frame, which I got right here. And let me get this out. Get an old picture frame like this. And what you're going to do is first, you're going to get a piece of sandpaper. And you're going to put your float ball down. And see, there's sandpaper there. You're going to keep it in a straightforward motion on the sandpaper and it's gonna show your high marks. And then what you're gonna do after you find that out um, is you're gonna get this valve grinding compound. And you're gonna dump it on your uh, piece of glass and you're just gonna go around like this. You're gonna keep scraping it and scraping it and just looking at it and it's gonna have a nice matte finish once you're done. And uh, you're gonna be able to look and see that that's straight now that you resurfaced it. The valve grounding compound actually takes out more than you think. Uh, it works well, and it's not as aggressive as the sandpaper. So that's one of the main things is the float bowl flanges and this, which I just resurfaced, same process. Um, you could see it's straight now. That's how you want it to look. So, and then another thing from actually tightening these that can happen is if you have an old carburetor you want to test that your slide comes out freely that it does not get hung up usually about right here old slides I've had to pull them out with needle nose before um, they could become pretty stuck and then that's really when you know you're gonna have to get a new carb that's really the only thing that's kind of unfixable that I haven't seen a method to where you could fix that but if you lay it like this and it moves back and forth freely um, in and out then you're pretty solid if that comes out so anyways uh, this is a TR6R this is for a TR6R like I said and when you run a TR6R you're gonna want a uh, three and a half slide Bonneville is a three so yeah so, like I said, I got the three and a half slide. I got the whole rebuild kit. Um, you're gonna get a uh, pretty standard. It's the 106 uh, needle jet, and uh, I had my uh, my main jet in here. They sent me a 220 though. I need a 230. So if you just pretend that's in there. Um, yeah, and then. You know, you're gonna put it all together, um, and that really should be it. You know, this kit comes with really everything. Um, 
one thing you want to make make sure too is that that your um, your top hat on the carburetor. Uh, a lot of the lines that you get these days, it has. Where is it? This kind of top. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, it has that kind of top. So if you have threaded, if if one of these is threaded where your throttle cable goes in, you're gonna have to drill that out with a drill. And I think Lobro Customs has a video on that um, in order for you to be able to fit that throttle cable in there. I usually plug my choke uh, my choke hole up. That's usually what a lot of people do on new builds. But uh, and then lastly is is the thing that a lot of people have a problem with with these carburetors is the is the irremovable pilot jet um this pilot jet it this carburetor has a lot of different ports that you can't get to so for instance if you blow into here um it's going to go out this port right here there's a little hole in that so what i could show you to see if this is clogged or not. If you have a compressor, um, if you have, I'll show you a couple different methods. Basically, I'll light up a cigarette and uh, I don't know if you could see that smoke, but you could light up a cigarette and get a piece of fuel line. I'm sorry, I'm, do I'm recording this with one hand. It's, it's hard to do this. Uh, put smoke in your mouth, blow, put that on there and blow into it. And uh, you'll see smoke travel out of here, out of this port. Um, also, you can go to your compressor and blow air through here and you're gonna feel it with your finger you're gonna feel with your finger uh air coming out of all the different ports there's air once you blow through that there's air that goes through there is two little holes right there that's gonna blow out this is to show that if uh if your carburetor isn't isn't clogged so air should blow out of those two ports like i said there's going to be one there's going to be air that blows out of here and then i don't know what's up with this camera it keeps unfocusing and then it's going to blow out of here and here there's a tool also that i'll link that you could use to unclog it but um like i just use like carb cleaner and i'll just spray it down there uh, other than that, that's really all you got to do to resurface these carburetors is to check those things and to really make sure that your pilot jet is completely cleared out. So that's really, that's really it. I've done, done this to multiple carburetors. Um, it's all worked perfect. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, just give me a shout and uh, I'll answer you back. Thanks.